Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustTutors.com and in this video we are going to learn about rational numbers and in rational numbers we are going to discuss about two things about how to write a rational number and closure property of rational number but before moving ahead we are going to try some warm-up question here are the questions for you to try these questions you can pause the video so the answer for question number one is equals to and the answer for question number two is this. Now we move ahead and we are going to learn about what is a rational number. So a rational number are real numbers that can be written in the form of P over Q where the denominator or we can say Q is always not equals to zero. So some examples for this would be 4 over 7, 7 over 9, 9 over 16, it could be negative as well. Now we move ahead and we are going to learn about the closure property of rational number. So a number is said to be satisfied the property of closure if after an operation on that number we get a result which belongs to the same set or we can say which belongs to the same family as the initial number. So if our initial number is from the rational number, the answer that we get after the property on this should be a rational number. Then we can say that it satisfies the property of closure. So first of all, we'll check the closure property and the addition. So we took an example of 2 over 3 add 4 over 5. So if we add them all together, we get 22 over 15, which is a rational number. So we can say that closure property holds under addition. Now we move ahead and we're going to try to check whether closure property holds in the subtraction or not. So we again take an example, 2 over 3 and 4 over 5. If we subtract both of them, we get minus 2 over 15, which is a rational number. So we can say that closure property holds under subtraction as well. Now we check under multiplication. So we'll take an example of 6 over 7 and 9 over 5. So 6 over 7 multiplied by 9 over 5 gives us 54 over 35, which is a rational number. So we can say that closure property holds under multiplication. Now we move ahead and we check that closure property holds under division or not. We will check that 4 over 5 divided by 2 over 3 gives us 6 over 5, which is a rational number. But if the other number is 0, then we get the answer as not defined. So we can say that closure property holds under division only in some cases, not in all the cases. Now we move ahead and we'll try some questions. Here are the questions for you to try these questions. You can pause the video. So the answer for the question number one is minus 9 over 56, which is a rational number. So we can say that closure property holds in the multiplication. Now the question number two is the answer is 0, which is again a rational number. So we can say that closure property holds in the multiplication in this case as well. Now if we check question number three, the answer is not defined. So this gives us an idea that closure property holds under division but not in all the cases. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justutors.com.